First, yes! Damn, that's not getting me out. Well, maybe I had to. What the hell? Just be careful, honey. Just be careful with me. Oh, you respect the source. Don't interrupt the source, honey. This is not the way I want to start the chat. Get out. See ya. Welcome, everyone. How you doing? <laughs> Stop it. All right. Folks, welcome to Deal or No Deal. I am your host. The Simonetti guy, he's a, he's a fraud. He's a fraud. Simonetti source, folks, how are you all doing today? Welcome, I am pumped up. It's my favorite time of year, folks, Christmas. Come on, guys, I put the flower shirt on for you. This is supposed to be a television show today. I'm asking you guys questions today. No, but really, guys, we're going to have a good time today. Um, we're going to have a, a lot of fun today. We're going to talk about a lot of good things I want to hear good chat. So hold on one second. Let me rephrase this real quick so everybody knows, okay? Deal or no deal. We're talking about trades. I want to hear money. I want to hear um, uh, 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 free agent signings with years and money. And I want to hear good trades. Don't make me say stop it. Don't make me say stop it. We're not playing yet. We're going to get ready to play any seconds. I uh, want to go over a couple of news stories. Not much else going on out there. Um, I want to talk real quickly about what I put out yesterday. Uh, a couple of the guys I speak with mentioned to me that the Yankees are more likely to go after Kluber than Bauer because a lot of Yankee people do not like the social media antics and the way Bauer's a little outspoken about a couple of different things. So I wanted to make sure um, I, I speak of that. Getting a call, mud on. And I think a lot of people um, don't necessarily, or actually I think a lot of people already agreed with that. That might be the case. So we'll see. I told you guys a couple of days ago that there's a lot of teams asking about Greg Bird, but the Yankees have a lot of interest in him still. So if you guys remember, I put that out, um, I think it was within last week at some point when I said that, the, that Bird has a lot of believers in the Yankees organization, but, but there's been a lot of teams that have asked about him. So now we're hearing that there has been teams asking about Greg Bird. Yanks interested in Marwin Gonzalez and Josh Harrison? Yeah, Josh Harrison's a guy they've had interest for a while, so I can see that. All right, guys, we are going to, I waited a lot. We got a lot of people in here. Please go ahead, get the lights up, share the video if you don't mind. That would be wonderful. I would appreciate it. And let's get going. Let's talk deal or no deal. I will read a deal out there. I'll give my opinion of it. And we'll go from there. All right, so the first one I'm looking at here, which is going to be obviously a big one that I think a lot of people are going to talk about. Floriel, Abreu, Bird, Frazier for Kluber, and Jason Kipnis. Okay, so let's talk about this one first. I'm going to leave it on here so I can take a look at it and look at it. Uh, take a look at it and look at it. Okay, I'm going to look at it. I promise. Um, Floriel would have to be a part of that deal, I personally believe, unless the Yankees are comfortable with dealing Andujar. Now, I told you guys I've been hearing a lot of the Yankees would rather move and do hard than Floriel, but for the sake of this trade, let's look at it. Floriel, Abreu, Bird, and Frazier for Kluber and Kipnis. My assumption here is the Yankees are eating a lot of that deal from Kipnis, the $14 million or $15 million it is this year, and likely to buy out, which would be next year of $2.5 million. The Indians on that hand get Floriel, a future all-star, hopefully. Abreu, a future impact starter. Reminds me a lot of... Carlos Carrasco, similar similar style of pitcher. Greg Bird, who can immediately jump in at first base for them, get them some at-bats. And another outfielder in Clint Frazier. For me, I like the deal in a sense. I like it for the Indians. They're getting a center fielder who is not going to be ready yet, but then they're getting an outfielder who is ready in Frazier if he's healthy. They're getting Albert Abreu, who has a chance to be an impact starter. 
and they're getting uh, Greg Bird who can immediately jump in. So yes, that is the groundwork of a deal I actually like. I rate that a uh, uh, um, uh, move forward, not a stop it. That's a good, that's a green light on that one. I like it. That one makes sense to me. That one definitely makes sense. Uh, let's see, what is the next one we have here? Machado, seven years at 220. Hey, man, I'm going to say stop it on that one because if that was the case, how the hell is he not a Yankee? I think Machado gets a lot more than 220. I think Ken Rosenthal just actually spoke about it and said that more teams are interested in Machado, which should not be uh, anywhere out of the ordinary. We should know that that's the case. So I will say stop it on that deal just because I certainly think Machado gets more than that. Aaron, judge the truth, my friend. Thank you so much. Brody Van Wagenen for cash. God, yes. I'm just kidding. Let me calm down. <laughs> um, You guys know how I feel about Brian Cashman. I like Brian Cashman. Nothing wrong with B Cash at all. I think he's a little overrated. But, but Brody is also a first year. He made one deal. A lot of people would say that deal wasn't really favorable to the Mets unless they win in the next two years. So I'll hold it at that. I do think, by the way, by the way, I heard today again, there's a very real possibility you will be seeing the DH in the National League by 2020. So I heard that today. That is something that has been talking about more and more. And I do think that's one of the reasons why the Mets were comfortable with making that deal. Because that has been talked about a lot here recently. And it's gained a lot of steam going forward. That the that baseball has talked about a national uh, DH in the National League come 2020. They don't think it will happen in 2019. It's too quick. But it looks like 2020 is a real possibility. Uh, I saw another one up here. Sonny Gray, Burr, Chance Adams for John Gray. Who is not a fan of big, nasty John Gray? I know I am. Um, I don't see the Rockies selling that low. And let me say why I say low. Sonny Gray is a one-year guy. Bird is basically, and, and Adams has lost a lot of favor. The Yankees are a year late on dealing uh, Clint, uh, on dealing uh, Adams. They're a year late on dealing Adams. They should have dealt him after the 2017 season, but we'll see. Thank you, Sports Talker. I appreciate that. I have not shared it yet. Guys, the screen may pause. Give me one second to share this. Okay, I just shared it out. If you guys don't mind, if guys, get me the likes up. I need those likes up. We got almost 250 in here. Need to get the likes up to get more people involved in the conversation. And please, if you don't mind, if you got a Twitter, hit the button on the bottom and share this baby out. I will greatly appreciate it from you all. Thank you so much again. And thank you on short notice before you guys go ahead and do that if you do. Gray, Herman, Abreu, and Burr for Ray. Why would Gray be involved in a deal like that? I don't think that's the route Arizona is taking. So I will take a stop it on that. Any word on Murphy at all? I, I heard a little bit, you know, Jack Curry talked about it. I've heard that they could be interested in it, but I haven't seen anything more than the, the, the light interest. So nothing really yet there. Sonny Gray, uh, Richard, my friend, thank you. I appreciate it. Sonny Gray and Tyro Estrada for Byron Buxton, huh? You're talking about buying on the potential of talent overall with Buxton. You're buying Buxton's talent and potential. You're not buying the results on that deal. Let me get some of your guys' feedback on that one. Um, I would personally say no, because I think you can get more somewhere else. But you guys tell me what you think about that. Estrada and Gray for Byron Buxton. I would say stop it and a no on that one, because I think you get Buxton for less. And I think they, want it, they think he has a chance to rebound this year. So you guys tell me what you think. Yeah, once you get Harper. I agree, my friend. That's right. Anybody? Anybody else? Who, who thinks? Anybody? 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 Stop it. I would say stop it, too, even though I like it. I like the mind. I like the... That's what I want to see. I want to see trades that we're thinking of on the outside, uh, uh, outside of the box, 
Not the guys we know about. Yes, yeah, Sports Talker had a hell of an idea for Whit Merrifield, and we talked about this a little bit together. Um, imagine Whit Merrifield and Bryce Harper added to this Yankee lineup. Mod on. As us Italians would say, mod on. That would be tremendous. That would be absolutely tremendous. Sports Talker says, if you guys are not following Sports Talker on Twitter, please go ahead and do that. I put it on my page to follow him. Great baseball conversation. I like the deal for Duffy and Merrifield or just Merrifield. I agree. I have always been a fan of Duffy. I think Duffy very much can be a guy to really bounce back, especially with a winning team like the New York Yankees. I think he could put together a solid year. I would buy on that one, no doubt about it. Yeah, there you go. Ed Merrifield, sign Harper and trade Floriel. The reason I like this deal so much is it's not crazy. This deal makes sense. It's not a crazy deal. The quiet before the storm, says Michael. We'll see. Rob says, stay away. Okay. Okay, Rob, I get it. I get it. There could be some concern with Duffy. I understand. Bird and Herman for Jose, Ab for Jose Abreu. Hey. You guys remember during this early offseason, I think once the Yankees ended, I put a video uh, with my support of the Yankees trading for Jose Abreu. Bird and who was that? Bird and who? Bird and Herman for Abreu. You know what? Sign me up. Somebody change my mind. Somebody change my mind. That is a deal. That is a deal. I will take that deal. I will take that deal. Yes. Bird and Herman for Jose Abreu. I will take that deal. Good job, my friend. I like it. Good job. No, I have hope for Bird. And I'm not joking when I say that. I'm not joking when I say that. I still, Bird is still young. I, do I think he has a chance to be better than last year? Hell yes, I do. There's potential there. But um, not my favorite. Not my, I would deal him if I had to. I would deal him if something presented itself to win right now. I'd deal him. Okay, on to the next one. Let's see what we got here. Yankees get, this is from Tyler Grosso. Nice Italian name there. Grosso. Hey, let me see. Let me see. Grosso. Uh, <laughs> Yankees get Robbie Ray and Archie Bradley. I like it so far. Diamondbacks get Greg Bird, Clint Frazier, and Alan Abreu. I'm going to say stop it because I don't think that's enough. I think they would want more for those guys. So I will say a stop it on that one. Uh, let's see. What is the next thing here? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see the next one, folks. Kluber for Andujar, Frazier, and Gray. Do we get... Let me ask you a question back. Let me ask you a question back. Do we get Machado? Is Machado a Yankee? Yes or no? I need your answers quick. We got to keep it rolling. Yes. Then yes. Sign me up. Yes. Sign me up. If the Yankees get Machado, I hate dealing Andujar because I love the guy. But I want to win now in the next three years. Give me Kluber. Give me Kluber. Aaron judges the truth again, my friend. Thank you. I greatly appreciate you. Gray, Bird, Frazier, Abreu, and Sh for Stroman and Smoke. Oh, I am not a fan of Stroman. Um, damn it. But you know what? You know what? Gray, you're not going to use. Bird, we don't know about. He's being replaced with, with Smoke. Abreu could be good, but Stroman, if he gets it on, could be better. And Frazier. Shit. Let me get some help here, guys. Can somebody help me? I am going to say deal. I'm going to say deal. I'll take the risk. I'll take the risk for that one. I will take the risk on that deal. Yes, I will. That is a deal for me. I will take that risk. I will take that risk. Definitely a pretty, pretty solid deal there. That to me, that's not that much though. You, the reason why I say that's not that much, let me tell you why I say that's not that much. Bird is being replaced. So you take you take smoke out of there, and right now, if you're looking at smoke and bird, 
Smoke is higher up than Bird. So you got to give something else. Uh, Gray has no part of this club. So Gray's already immediately just a ship off. Give me the money. Let them pay some of, Bur some of Gray's salary and go from there. Manny Machado, eight years, 289. Sign me the hell up. I don't think it, I think it might take more than that, but sign me the hell up on that one. That would be a deal for me. Smoke is a switch hitter. Yes, sir. 10 years, 310 for Manny. Sounds a little better. That's a deal for me, too. I would still bite on that one. Michael Fulmer for Bird, Frazier, and Herman. And Sessa? Eh, I don't think you got to throw the extra guy in there. Uh, what do you guys think of that deal? Michael Fulmer, who we don't know how healthy he is, for Bird, Frazier, and Herman. My first reaction is stop it. I would say no deal on that one. What do you guys say? Hey! Hey! Somebody make me a tea! What? Make me a tea! Please! Make me a damn tea, woman! <laughs> Get to the making of tea, honey! You make that tea! All right, I said please. Unbelievable. All right, so guys are not making that deal. I agree. I don't think I will make that deal. Okay, sign Harper, trade Hicks, sign Murphy, two lefties. Why not? I'm down for that. I'm down for that. I am down for that. No, um, Steven, no, I am not Spanish. I have a Dominican wife. Which makes me part Dominican, to be honest. Oh, Aaron Judge Gap Teeth. Look at this. Aaron Judge's Gap Teeth is in the chat. Thank you. Scooter and Votto. All right, let's think. Hold on, guys. I need your guys' help on this. Let's think. Scooter Jeanette and Joey Votto for Gray, Floriel, Frazier, Abreu, and Estrada. Wow. I am going to say stop it. I'm going to say stop it. I'll say stop it on that one. First of all, there's a lot of money there. There's a lot of money there. Any steam on a Stanton trade? Again, I don't think that's anything somebody would see. I really don't. I don't think that's something anybody would see. That will be a last-minute notice type thing. I will get word and put it out. But um, I have not heard an inch of anything. My bachata is great, man. I'm telling you. I'll, I'll put a video of me uh, of my bachata dancing, you know. I'm really good. Bachata, merengue. I got it down, baby. I'm good. I've been Dominican for 10 years now. It's all right. Hey, honey. There you go. Sports talker, I'm going to get to you next. I'm just being interrupted again. Sweetie pie. Yes. Do you want some tea? Yeah, please. Okay, here you go. Have Thank you. Tea, honey. Thank you, my love. I appreciate it. Is it hot? Oh, it's hot. Why are you talking like that for? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> Oh, God. I'll, pro I'll, I'll probably get a knife in my back tonight. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Psychopath. All right. So going back to Sports Talkers deal. Structure of deal. Yankees re re receive infielder Merrifield. Re uh, Royals receive Tyler Wade, Tyro Estrada, Domingo Acevedo, and Debbie Garcia. If a fourth man, outfielder Zach Zayner. But I doubt a fourth is needed. That, to me, is a deal. Don't drink it. <laughs> They're telling me not to drink it. Why'd you put it here? <laughs> oh, man. I like that deal. I like it. I like it. I like that deal a lot. Andrew Miller or Zach Britton? I think Britain gets more. I'd rather have Britain, but I'll go with both. Three-team trade with Jays and Indians where Yankees would get Kluber and Smoke. Wow, I don't see that happening. Uh, that's, that's quite of a big deal, so we'll see. Peter about to spend the night on the toilet. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Guys, give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and share this out one more time.
All right, Kershaw isn't going nowhere. Will the Yankees end up with Harper million dollars on the line? Shoot. Wow. You know, I always I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my to my heart on this one. Damn, this is just a hard one. I don't know who they favor more. I hear they're split on both of them. I've been telling you guys that for a while. I made my uh projections on why they both make sense. I'm going to say no. I think they end up with Machado. I don't know why. I think they end up with Machado, but I, I think it makes... I don't know why. I think they end up with Machado, but I, I think it makes all the sense in the world to get Harper. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to say no. Yankees get Jameson, Tyon, and Josh Harrison. Well, Josh Harrison's a free agent. I think he is. Josh Harrison, I believe, is a free agent. So I don't, that wouldn't make sense on that deal. So we'll say stop it on that one. Mad Bum for Floriel... Andujar, Frazier, King, and Gray. Blood Ghost, what are you on? Blood Ghost, I love you, my friend, but what are you... Whoa, 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 way too much. Way too much. That is way too much, my friend. You do not have to give Miguel Andujar up for Madison Bumgarner on one year and 12 million. That is way too much. I'm thinking a top pit, a, a decent pitching prospect and two guys. And two mid-level mid prospects. That is it. That's it. First of all, here's the other thing. Bumgarner isn't coming off of two terrific seasons. You guys feel me? Bumgarner's not... Yeah, I, I get it. No, I don't think that's the only way you get... Look, maybe it is, right? Maybe that's what... Maybe that's what the Giants want. Maybe the Giants say, Sorry, you want him, you're going to blow us away. But the Yankees can't do that. Look. Here's a guy coming off of two years not pitching 140 innings. Two years in a row of having injuries. Last year, home run rate went up a lot. Velocity was down. If I'm the Giants, I'm banking on him having a good first half, then dealing him. But for me, I am definitely not giving up that much to get him. No way in hell. No way in hell am I giving up that much. Adam, Adam, my friend, 10 years, 325 for Harper? Look, my guy, I'm signing the dotted line. Sign me up for it. Sign me up for it. Pete, will the Phillies offer $400 million for Harper? I don't think so. I don't think they will offer that much for Harper. I really don't. Uh, Perry, Perry says, the Yankee silence makes me feel like something massive is brewing. I don't know what that will be, though. I don't know either right now, but... It could be that. It could be that. Who plays third if you trade Andujar? Manny Machado. That's the only way I deal Andujar. I do not trade Miguel Andujar if Manny Machado's not on this team. Simple as that. I, I, don't, I don't see Harper saying, hey, look, put me on the White Sox. I don't see that. I think Harper also wants to win. Harper's a guy who plays with a lot of intensity, and I think a winning team is needed for that. So that, to me, is where it will make the most sense. Imagine they sign both Machado and Harper. This team, at this point now, I would have to see that to believe it. I just don't believe it no more. Deal or no deal, Marwin Gonzalez, four years, $48 million. Sign me up. I think that's, that's the deal I gave him in, in my early uh, projections. Yeah, I would do that deal for Marlon Gonzalez if, I, if I'm not getting Harper or Machado. If he's a guy like I'm adding him, Murphy, and a couple of relief pitchers, then yeah, I'd do that. Signing Machado makes Andujar available for Kluber, likely, or signing Harper makes Floriel available for Kluber. Exactly. That's 100% spot on, Sports Talker. No doubt about it. Floriel Adams Frazier Herman for Mar for Martinez Gurko and then sign Harper plus Geo. I don't like the end part. I will say stop it on that one. And I know you meant both Martinez as Carlos Martinez and Jose Martinez, but I will say no on that one. Matt Chapman for Andujar. Interesting. No. I'd say stop it on that one. 
Omega's poop for Randy Levine. Sign me up, baby. That is a perfect deal. Michael, you said it 17 times, my friend. <laughs> Calm before the storm. I got it. We got it, baby. We got it. A's wouldn't do it, okay? Carlos Rodon, who is a good friend of mine, and Jose Abreu for Bird, Frazier, Herman, and Acevedo. Uh, I would do that deal. I would do that deal. Tyler, guys, take a look at Tyler's trade. Let me know what you think about it. Carlos Rodon, Jose Abreu for Bird, Frazier, Herman, and Acevedo. I would do that deal in a heartbeat. Machado, nine years, 305. Sign me up. Howdy, Mark. Welcome. Yes, that is a deal. Sign me up. White Sox say no. Okay, and Sports Talker thinks that's a little too much. Okay. Okay. Sox would say no. Okay. How much of Ellsbury's contract would they have to eat to get rid of him? Here's my thing with Ellsbury, and, I, and I, I've said this for a while. Ellsbury's a guy that hasn't didn't show nothing last year. What are you getting as a team to trade for Ellsbury? That's why it's been hard for the Yankees to get rid of this guy. What has he shown? He hasn't played. If Ellsbury last year at 256 and did a little something, Maybe you say to yourself, okay, makes a bit of sense. This guy's done nothing. This guy has done nothing. Guys, let me get up to 100 likes. Come on, get those likes up to 100. Let's keep going. We're at 93 with seven away. Can I get 100, folks? Can I get 100? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Thank you. <laughs> Aaron Hicks for Brandon Crawford straight up. No, I would say stop it on that one. I forgot about Ellsbury myself. <laughs> All right, guys, what is the next one? Pete, thanks for your info. Please boycott games if they don't sign anyone. Um... I wouldn't boycott a game. I don't think uh, that'll do much unless you got a real large group that is doing that. But um, I think the word will get out pretty quickly about the Yankees. Yanks should trade Giancarlo to the Dodgers. We'll see. We'll see. Adam Adovino, three years, $33 million. Sign me up. No doubt about it. Sign me up. Sign me up. Uh, I had another one here. Yankees get Kluber. Indians get Floriel. Abreu, Frazier. What do you think? I would do that deal in the heartbeat. I would do that deal in the heartbeat. I think you might have to add something else for Kluber. Deal or no deal. Stanton for Bellinger. Uh, Julio Urias and a lower level prospect. I would say the Dodgers don't do that. Zach Greinke plus $30 million for a player to be named later. <laughs> If they're going to give us him, I still don't think he's going to accept a deal to the Yankees. Buster Olney said yesterday the Dodgers have no interest in Stanton at all. See the Michael K show. Okay, makes sense. Mike Trout for Tanaka, Judge, Batantis, and Floriel. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let me ask you guys a serious question. I got to ask you guys a question real quick. And I had this argument with a few people already. I want to get your guys' opinion on this. I want to see what you guys think. Both players healthy. 100% healthy. No guarantee, no injuries. 100% healthy. How much better, how much better is Mike Trout than a healthy Aaron Judge? Both of these guys are pure health. How much better is Mike Trout than Aaron Judge? I want to get some responses here. 
I'm interested. Okay? Somebody said a thousand times better. Judge all day. Right now, it's tough to say. Trout doesn't strike out as much. Trout is overrated. Not better at all. Trout gets on base more and is more uh, average. Definitely less strikeouts. Not much, only because he strikes out less. Sports talker, if you're around, I want to hear your opinion on that too. Mike Trout is the best, but Judge is right there with him. Okay, the strikeouts and stolen bases. Judge is the GOAT. Trout is an average. Average is better. Trout can't replace Judge's leadership. Trout is the best player in the league. I take either one of them. Trout don't make all the K. Trout hits a well above average 300. Doesn't strike out as much. Top five defensive outfielder. Trout doesn't have the protection Judge has. That's true. I would say Mike and Betts, okay. He's better, but not a crazy amount. If you think Judge is better than Trout, if Judge cuts down on the strikeouts, the cost difference is huge. All right, so I think mainly everybody agrees that Mike Trout is a better player, but not by a long shot. Is that what we're agreeing on here? Everybody seems like they agree that Trout's better, but not by a, by a huge margin. Okay, so I, I agree with that. I've just had people sit there and tell me that Trout is beyond years in advance better than Judge, and I just, I don't see that. I think he's better, but I don't see him being that much better than Aaron Judge. To the degree of where it's like I would take him in a heartbeat. I don't see that. Santana and Hanniger for Ellsbury, Frazier, King, and Abreu. Santana and Mitch Hanniger for Ellsbury, Frazier, King, and Abreu. That's giving up a lot in my opinion. Okay, Sports Talker says Trout is better, but if you're talk talking about the money comparison, I'd say Judge right now on his current contract. If they were both available at the same time, I would pick Trout, but not by much. So everybody has really the same opinion of that deal. I agree. I agree. Deal or no deal. Arenado for Andujar, Frazier, King, and Herman. No, because if that's the case, just wait out Arenado next year and, and, and get money for him. You think Ellsbury will ever play again? I don't think he ever plays again for the Yankees. I really don't. I don't think he ever plays for the Yankees again. I really don't think he does. Why get Kluber when we could get Lance Lynn? I agree. Just kidding. Stop it. Why can't the Yankees realize Ellsbury? Realize Ellsbury what? Anything? Sarcasm is real. Yes, it is, folks. Who is the next starting pitcher you see Yankees getting? Mm, oh God, my 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 heart wants Kluber, but I'm gonna take a safe bet and I'm gonna say it's gonna be Hap. Does Kluber being 32 less than his value? No. Kluber's still excellent, and he has a solid deal. He's still very good and has a really good deal. Mike Napoli just retired. It's sad to see a good Italian ball player go. It hurts me. It hurts me when those paisans get out the game. When Sal Fasano retired, I cried for two weeks. Two weeks straight. Tears. Two weeks straight. Kluber would help Severino take the next step. I certainly agree. Which team should we trade Gray to and for who? Yes, yeah, Salfasano the catcher. I mean, God. I seen in person Salfasano's only home run as a Yankee. In person. One of the greatest moments of my life. 
<laughs> in person. Um, Sonny Gray, who do they trade him to and for what? Well, Milwaukee got a lot of good players. Cincinnati got good players. Um, San Diego got good young players. It depends on what you're looking for. Um, I don't really have a preference on what I'm going to deal Sonny Gray for. I don't have a preference. Um, to me, you get the best return and you, you deal them. You get rid of them. Um, I don't have a real uh, pick, so to say, to trade them for. Um, I would like to see maybe some of the prospects you get for them to deal them somewhere else. Yeah, I agree right there with Sports Talker. That's basically what I'm saying. Get your prospects for them and have them replace or put them in a deal for somebody else. Sal Volcano from Impractical Jokers for Kluber. You can't, tra you can't trade Joe. So if you got to trade Sal, you got to trade Sal because you can't trade Joe. I trade Murr for him. <laughs> and I trade Q for him. But I'm not trading Joe. JT Real Muto for Floriel, Bird, Frazier, if a first baseman is acquired. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Deal or no deal, guys. Deal or no deal. Deal or no deal. No deal, okay. Okay, hell no. Pete, anyone but Harper and or Machado is a joke. I agree. I agree. Trade Simonetti for Hal and Cashman. Deal or no deal? Me for Hal or Cashman. Deal or no deal? Well, anybody. Deal or no deal? No deal. We got some deals. I like this. Yes. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hire Pete. Matt Harvey, two years, 24 million, low risk, high reward. I like Matt Harvey. And you guys know I like Matt Harvey. I would not sign Matt Harvey. I would go. I think there's still better options out there. Now... If it was Matt Harvey and there was not many other guys available and Kluber was traded already, I would consider a small deal like that. <clears throat> Harper for six years? I will say stop it because I highly doubt that happens. Kluber, Mad Bum, or Bauer? Give me Kluber. Give me Corey Kluber. Sonny Gray and low-level prospects to Texas Rangers for Shin Show Chu. No, that is a stop it for me. Didi Gregorius, five years, $75 million contract extension. I say no. I am not a fan of that deal. How would I structure a Harper Machado deal with opt-outs? I would give Harper and Machado both a similar option. I would give them opt-outs after year three. Uh, after year three, they could get back on the market at 29. I would give I would be cool with a 10-year deal for either one of those guys, but an opt-out after year three, which you're almost banking on as being likely. Um and I would push to $300 million or so for either one of those guys. I think for a win-now team like the Yankees, it makes sense. I think it opens up the door for you to go ahead and trade a Miguel Andujar if you could get what you want for him. Not, I'm not out here supporting a Miguel Andujar trade. I'm not. I wouldn't deal him. I love Miguel Andujar. I'm looking to win now. You got a lot of Yankee fans who have decided... That keeping prospects and younger players 
are more important than looking to win right now. It's this new age mentality of the Yankees can bullshit anybody and people just eat it up. I don't know what's going on. I'll have more videos on this because I won't let them off the hook. But a lot of the younger Yankee fans are really buying in to this concept of lower payroll and winning. Makes no sense. The Boston Red Sox had the highest payroll they won. The Boston Red Sox traded their top prospects to get the guys they wanted, but they kept their core. They went out there and just signed their playoff hero, Nate Eovaldi, whether you like the deal or not. They did what they feel they had to do to keep winning. We have a lot of Yankee fans who have truly bought in to this idea. Look, this is going to hurt people's feelings. And people are going to get mad at me for saying this. I'm going to duck. The Red Sox are acting like the Yankees in the late 90s, early 2000s. Throw your punches at me. Throw your punches at me. But it's fact. It is fact. No one wants to hear it. And no Yankee fan wants to speak the truth. But that's why in less than a less than one year, I'm not, I'm not saying anything about myself. Less than one year, I've caught on with Yankee fans more than anybody. Because I am not afraid to tell the truth. The Boston Red Sox, you do not hear them say, oh my God, luxury tax. They signed who they needed to sign. They blew it up. They traded guys when they needed to trade them to get their ace. And they've won. They have won. The Yankees' revenue is going up. Payroll is going down. Does this mean, does this mean that the Yankees will not sign Harper or Machado? I will not believe that until I see it. They very well might. But I will not believe it until I actually see it. We are waiting to see that. Richard, my pal, thank you, friend. Thank you, thank you. People are dreaming with what we'd get from L.A. for Stanton. They forgot we traded virtually nothing for him. His high money cost is like signing a free agent. Stanton to L.A. for Stripling, then sign Harper. Hey, if that was the case, sign me up, dude. Sign me up. I would greatly do that. I would do that too. If that is the case, and a team would take on Stanton, and we get Harper, I think all of us would trade Stanton for Harper. I really believe that. He fits the Yankees lineup better. Simple as that. Thank you, by the way, man. I greatly appreciate your support. I really do. Thank you. Deal or no deal. Bird, Herman, low-level guy for smoke. I think that's a bit much, maybe. I think you could probably take Herman out of that, maybe, and add a decent pitching prospect um, and get a deal like that done. For those three, I would say stop it. Guys, I've been dealing with this phlegm and like mucus. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be disgusted. But if I got to pause for a second, I'm just trying to breathe. When I talk a lot, I've been sick for like two weeks. No joke, nonstop. I don't know why. But I'm feeling better anyway. But I, I get, <clears throat> I got to cough a little bit every now and then. Too much mozzarella. Forget it. I was going to yell to them. I hope the Yankees prove us wrong and get Machado and Harper. I do too, man. I do too. Why is Charlie Morton worth money asking? He's going he's gonna to be... He should ask for quite a bit. This is the last big deal he'll ever get. How dare you think you get to breathe? Ridiculous! How dare I do such things? You're a fraud, Simonetti. You're a fraud. <laughs> Kluber for the banana suit and the stop it mug. I don't know, man. Those mugs are valuable. I don't know if I could do that deal. I will say stop it. 
on that deal. Studying for finals. Carmen, I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you, Carmine. I called you Carmen. I'm sorry. My goodness. Carmine, thank you, my friend. Studying for finals, but Stanton Frazier, Bird of the Brayu to the Dodgers for Bellinger. And the Dodgers absorb all the money. Yankees go and sign Harper. Sign me up. Sign me up. Sign me up. We need to fill the last spot in the rotation before we worry about hitting. I agree. I agree. How will Cashman justify not signing Machado? They can't. Here's what they will say. I don't want to go on a rant because I think some people get upset when I do, do some rants, but it's the same shit we're seeing with, with Corbin. It's, just, it's, just, it's bullshit. It's, it's bullshit. Excuse my language. Everything we have heard, forget me. Take Simonetti out of the, out of the, I was about to curse. Take me out. The, I, I'm going to rant. I'm going to rant a second because I'm sorry. I know nobody wants to hear about Kluber. I mean, uh, Corbin, forget Corbin. Take me out of the picture. Take me out of the picture. Forget, forget the source. Okay. Forget whatever I said. Yes. I said, he's going to be a Yankee. Every one of that mother said he's going to be a Yankee. I also said, I had no idea if it was going to happen. I couldn't say it yet. Anyway. Uh, Marcus, I promise you I'm going to get to it. Let me rant one second. I can't get off this right now. Here's the thing that pisses me off, right? For since t end of 2017. I spoke about it before anybody. That Corbin, the Yankees love Corbin. They try to trade for him. About a, mo a month after that, Joe Sherman comes out and confirms that. The Yankees tried to trade for Corbin. They wanted too much. It didn't work out. He would be a target in the future. Come about middle of 2018, every sports writer in the planet is saying Corbin to the Yankees is basically the lock of all locks, right? You did not hear one single word of the Yankees not having severe interest. You did not see one projection not one that Corbin was not going to be a Yankee on anybody's projection list. Everyone you looked at had Corbin to the Yankees. But that's not even the point. The point here is the after. What happened after he signed? All of a sudden, all of a sudden, we didn't value him enough. We saw him as a number three. He wanted to come see us. We had no interest. We then found out he wanted Otani money, but we, were, we didn't know that before. We had no idea. So, hey, Yankee fans, we really didn't want the guy that everybody expected us to get. We really didn't want him. So now you got the Yankee fans who eat up all of this and say, yeah, they shouldn't have offered him a deal. He just wasn't good anyway. They never wanted him. You mean to tell me we went a year and a half, a year and a half with not one ounce of word that the Yankees didn't value Corbin when everybody in their mother, Sherman, Heyman, Olney, uh, uh, Rosenthal, the list goes on. All the radio shows. The Yankees love him. All of a sudden, the Yankees didn't love him? They thought he's a number three or four? They didn't really want him? Huh. Odd. A bit confusing. Then it said they offered a five-year deal. I reported they offered a four or five-year deal. I reported they talked about upping that offer for, to the 100 million. Then all of a sudden, the day of Yankee hot stove, the day of Yankee hot stove, Jack Curry, who's going to be on hot stove, says, oh yeah, they didn't want him. When Jack Curry, the night before he signed with the Nationals, said he's a lock to go to the Yankees. But even Jack Curry had never no clue that the Yankees didn't like him? 
I'm sorry if I find something odd here, but I don't eat up word from a billion dollar organization that acts like they're the fucking royals. I don't buy it. And I'm not too smart. I'm too smart of a baseball fan. I have done this too long. I speak to people who are close to the people in this organization. Believe it or not, I don't care. There was not a morsel. There was not a morsel of evidence that the Yankees weren't goo goo gaga for Patrick Corbin. Not a morsel of evidence. All of a sudden, here's what they will do with Machado and Harper if they don't sign him. We tried. We tried. We tried to sign him. We tried. We offered a decent deal, we think. We offered what we valued them at. They didn't want it. They got a better deal elsewhere. That's what will happen. Now, if people really think that the Yankees should not sign one of these guys and fight for it and argue that they shouldn't? I question every single logic you have on Major League Baseball. Simple as that. It's the same idea when I talk about a guy, when I talk about a guy like Murphy. I bring up Daniel Murphy, right? And you've got some of these podcasters and nitwits out there who see, oh, but if we sign Daniel Murphy, we have the worst infield defense of all time. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, because the Yankees are idiots not to improve that. Because the Yankees aren't going to Improve if they got a guy like Murphy. I mean, I, I love some of these people. I, Twitter? Here's what Twitter is. Twitter is a psychopath's playground. You got psychopaths on Twitter that don't know nothing. Not a morsel of baseball. When their response to getting a guy like Murphy is defense. You don't think the freaking Yankees know that? You don't think the Yankees, a major league baseball organization, doesn't know that the New York Yankees know about defense? You bring up defense when talking about Daniel Murphy. If you do that, don't talk baseball because you sound like a friggin' nitwit. Honestly, debate me on that, please. Anybody. You sound horrible. All right, rant done. I'm going back. Thank you guys for letting me get that out. Uh, Marcus, my friend, thank you so much. Pete, let's be serious. If the Yankees aren't willing to give Machado or Harper a 10-year deal, it's very scary for Yankee fans. I agree. I agree. Look, here's the deal. Without a rant, I already ranted. I'm done ranting. Here's the deal. If the New York Yankees feel that they can sell to their team, to their fans, that they can, they, they do not sign Harper or Machado. You can't sell that. You got to admit it. You got to make it up somewhere else. Now, if the New York Yankees went out and they got a Daniel Murphy, they got Kluber, they got Adovino, they got uh, maybe Hechevaria to play short, or Machado, whatever it is. Or not Machado, I'm sorry, Hechevaria to play short. They get Murphy maybe at first. Um, you, you improve, you get Kluber, you improve the bullpen. Maybe you sit back and you say, okay, maybe I can handle that. But if the Yankees really go the cheap route, I, I don't know how you how you justify it. I don't know how you justify that. 
Michael, I'm sick and tired of hearing the word too old. I'm so tired of hearing this too old crap. Please with the too old. Please, I agree. I want the young guy too. But for a win now team and this lineup, Murphy's needed. They should go all out for Murphy. I've been saying it for a while. Is he great? He's good. He's very good. They need a lefty in that lineup that puts the ball in play. Simple as that. Mur Murphy and Machado would be tremendous. Murphy and Machado would be amazing. Gray, Frazier, and Burr for Jesus Aguilar. I don't know how good of a first baseman Aguilar is, but I know he can rake. I know he can hit, so I could consider something like that. Marcus, my friend, thank you again. Yankees made more money than any team in baseball. There's no excuse to not spend. They passed on Max Scherzer partly for this offseason. I, I agree, man. I, I could rant about this all day long. The list of starting pitchers the Yankees have missed out on continue to grow. I love when people say Scherzer wasn't the right time. Get the hell out of here. That has nothing to do with the right time. Scherzer wasn't 31 years old. He wasn't 32. What are we talking about? Who are these fans? Everyone in their mother. Guys, how many of you remember the newspaper articles? My friend, thank you for the thank you for the donation, my buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you. How many of you guys remember the news articles that kept talking about 2019 and it showed um uh, uh Sanchez, Harper, and Machado, all in Yankee uniforms, saying this is what the Yankees have planned for. Am I lying? Have we not heard about 2019 forever? Am I making this up? I don't, I'm not. Trade for Merrifield, sign Harper, trade Floriel and pitcher Prospis for Kluber, sign out Vino and another relief pitcher. That would be World Series offseason. Sports talker, you win the day, because I agree 150% with everything you just said. No question about it. I agree 150% with everything you just said. Marcus, my friend, thank you. Yankees won't sign both of these guys just so they can give 32-year-olds five-year deals who aren't as good at, on the future. Spend on these guys. Marcus, you can't say it any better, my friend. I agree with you 150%. You cannot say it any better than what you just did. That is accurate and 100% correct. Draven, you are right. The Yankees brand is worldwide. If they don't spend big this offseason, I will be pissed. You got every right to be upset. The Emperor, the Emperor, Simonetti. Let's give Hal and Cashman the benefit of the doubt. I mean, the winter meetings aren't even over. I agree. I'm not, I'm not knocking them. If you guys, if you guys listen to every rant I say, all I'm talking about is up to this point. That's all I talk about. Every rant I typically do, I always say, now, this does not mean. They won't sign Harper. They won't sign Machado. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying up until what we've seen the last multiple years, it is a bit concerning. Put it that way. It is a bit concerning. Simple as that. I love Merrifield because he's not ARB eligible until 2019, and he can play all over the infield. He's a better version of what the Yankees want Wade to be. No doubt about it. Very good hitter. Solid contact. Like him a lot. Merrifield can play. Barrios Twins is a good young arm. The Yankees have had interest 
in Berrios over the last two years. I've spoke about that quite a bit. The Indian, the, the Twins are not yet ready to deal him. So I don't see that happening anytime soon, especially with them trying to add to their, to their lineup this year. They don't deserve our trust. I mean, do they deserve our trust? I think Cashman does, but I think you got to worry about Hal. Hal is the one that makes these decisions. You know, I think you got to worry a little more about what Hal is doing. Here's the way I mentioned Hal. Until he proves me different. Hal Steinbrenner reminds me of a guy that has daddy issues. Flat out. I say it all the time. I feel like Hal Steinbrenner feels he has something to prove to his father in baseball. I believe that. My belief is that Hal Steinbrenner believes that they will win, no doubt about it, without signing big contracts and long-term deals. I believe that. I believe he wants to prove that the New York Yankees can win without doing what his father did. That, that, that's my personal belief. You don't have to listen to me. That's my personal, that's my personal belief. I feel he feels he wants to prove to baseball and to Yankee fans and to his father that the Yankees can win without signing every player in the book. I've always believed that. I've been saying it for multiple years now. I've always believed that. Always believed that. Never had a different belief about it. Always was my belief. That's right. That's right. They should sell the team then. I mean, if they want money, why not? If it's all about money, the Yankees are worth billions. Kay said something the other day that if the Yankees signed Harper and Machado, that it would be overkill and that their revenue would not shoot through the roof. That makes no sense, but I also heard Michael Kay say that the Yankees shouldn't act like somebody who is on food stamps that have to decide if they're going to buy the milk or the bread only. They can sign whoever they want. Michael Kay also said that, and I'm happy he said it because somebody needed to say it. I agree. That is the Kansas City Royals way of winning. I agree 100%. Marcus, my friend, thank you. How do you, how do they have the balls to charge what they do for tickets and run Brett Gardner out there in left field and fans like Torres over Machado? Hashtag joke. They got the balls because they got the money and the power to do it. I agree with you, my friend. I agree with you. I love Brett Gardner. I love Brett Gardner. But Brett Gardner should not be a starter on this Yankee club. Simple as that. Will he be? I don't know. And the fact that you have people like Ken Rosenthal and others who say the Yankees don't have room for Harper. What the freak kind of world are we living in? Blood Ghost, my friend, thank you for joining. I appreciate you. Adam says, something tells me the Yankees are 100% signing Harper and Machado and always have planned to. Only thing that makes sense. Very well could happen. Harper could play left, yeah. Carpenter won't get traded. Cardinals are stacked, I agree. Bias to the Yankees, I don't see that happening. Uh, can we use Gardner as the fourth outfielder? That's the way he should be used. Why the hell can't Stanton play left field? If that's the case, you never should have traded for him. If you got to limit Giancarlo Stanton to a DH, you should have never traded for him. Simple as that. I agree. I think the Yankees, the Yankees are working on things. There's no doubt about it. They do not leak anything. The Yankees are very smart when it comes to working on deals that nobody sees coming. And they don't leak nothing. Brian Cashman has a team that doesn't leak to the media at all. So that's very possible. Stanton could play left field. I mean, I'm so sick of hearing that crap. Stick Stanton to left field. All right, guys. 
It has been over an hour that I've spent with you all. Ethan, you're coming in the last minutes, my friend. I'm going to jump off now. But thank you. I appreciate it. We'll be at Mandalay Bay on Monday. Wish I was here with you. I really do wish I was there with you too, my friend. Again, thank you for the invite. I really do wish I was there. My goodness, that would be tremendous if I was there. People would love it if I was there. <laughs> We'd have a ball, I'm sure, man. But I appreciate the invite. I really do. All right, guys, I am going to jump off here. Thank you so much for being a part of this chat. The deal or no deal was very fun. Thank you, Sports Talker, for the idea. I appreciate it. Who do I got for the fights tonight? Yes, I got to answer that question. Of course I do. Um, I think, um, let's see. Let me think for a second. I'm going to go with, God, I like Ortega and Holloway. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Um, I'm going to go with Holloway. I'm going to go with Holloway. And you think Joanna's going to win. Okay. I don't think so. I think Joanna loses. I think Joanna loses. I think Joanna loses that fight. I think Holloway wins. But I wouldn't be shocked either way. These are really good fights and fun to watch. Uh, I possibly will be doing a live chat later. Let's see how the rest of the evening goes. And we'll go from there. We had a long chat right now, over an hour. So we will see. If news breaks, definitely, you know, I'll be on here. And if there's some juicy rumors, if I hear anything to report, we will definitely have one. Deal or no deal definitely worked. I thought it would generate good interest and keep the discussions flowing. Solid live chat. Sports Talker, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. All right, guys, have a great day. Again, if I have information to pass out, it will be on Twitter. If it's big news, we'll talk about it live or I'll do a video. Or if news breaks in general, we'll do a video. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you.